Uh, morning, folks. I thought this morning I would show off the expansion for Defend Pearl Har Harbor. I've been having a ton of fun with this, so I thought I'd show it. It's still kind of in the works. Uh, I'm working it as, as I go. Uh, so in the other game, whenever you get close to Pearl Harbor or on Pearl Harbor, you would have a dogfight. Um, you would do the same thing, only you have to actually reach Pearl Harbor with one of your Japan planes. And if you did reach Pearl Harbor with one of your Japan planes, uh, this is where the expansion would take in. So our first dogfight is going to be between Zenji Abbey and Lewis Saunders. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, I fixed up the cards. I do have them in card sleeves. So maybe it might make it a little difficult to to see, maybe I'll keep it off camera just to not do the glare. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll for um, the, the approach, and maybe I'll put this right here. And so red die is gonna be the Japanese, the white die is the Americans. So red die three, you're gonna go to a three here. This is the Japanese approach and the American approach. Red die three is gonna be two. So the Japanese will move two. Americans will also move two. The first one who gets there, here comes my next roll. Red die is going to be a six. And the white die is a one. So the Americans move one, the Japanese move three. The Japanese move three. If they get to the fire point first, they get to start taking out the battleships that are here. This is how many you need to take out the Nevada one for the Arizona, two for the Tennessee, one for the West Virginia, and they'll work through them in order uh, from left to right based on how they're actually situated in um, Battleship Pro. Um, if the Americans get here first, then on their turn, they can use their anti-aircraft gun, and they will use that as a turn um, while the Japanese are flying in. And also, whoever reaches there first will be first in battle. So that's a real advantage too, especially when the hits are tied at 2-2. Whoever gets the next hit would be the victorious. So there's the first one. We have a six, so one, three. The Japanese are there, a two is a one. So Japan is there. They're already ready to go and they're gonna start doing their first sortie over um, Battleship Pro. And the Americans need to get to the fire point of course, a little late because of what happened historically. Uh, here's the roll. It is going to be a four and two threes and a four. So a four means Americans can move two. Uh, and with Abby, maybe I'll still put this here, uh, a four is a kamikaze and two misses. So a kamikaze, he, as long as it is six or more, and the dice set up to seven and three is a ten, he is going to take out the plane for the American, and he's also going to take out a battleship. So he will take out the Nevada. So I'll just put the block on top of there. So he is done, and Lieutenant Saunders is done. I'll run through all four just so you have an idea. If you're playing the game, you would go back to the game, and you'd play Defend Pearl Harbor. And again, once the Japanese plane reaches Pearl Harbor, lands on it, then you would go to this scenario. Uh, so let's just say the next two people are coming up are going to be uh, Takeshi Maeda and Kenneth Taylor. Kenneth Taylor was one of the heroes of um, Pearl Harbor, one of two Americans, him and George Welch. They get off the ground right away and shoot down, shoot down the first two Japanese planes. I believe they shot down 10 planes. Uh, and Maeda was a 20-year-old bomber that uh, was quite celebrated in Japan. So we're gonna to go to the second one and we'll roll for the approach. Maybe I'll keep this here for the approach. Uh, red die is a four, so they're gonna move two. Uh, white die is a four, they're gonna move two. Uh, two on the red die, that is gonna be two for the Japanese, one for the Americans. And oh, three for the Japanese. They will reach there, that one more for the Americans. So the Japanese can now start going down uh, Battleship Row with their fighters. And we have a two, so that's just gonna be a one for the Americans. 
and a four, six, five is three hits. Wow. Even in my play testing, I never had that many. So that would take out the Arizona one and two more hits. That would take out the Tennessee. So the Tennessee is taken out. The Americans are still not there. They need to get there quickly to take out Meta. A four is going to allow them to be there. The Japanese would go first, though. A five and a six more high rolls. That is two more. So one West Virginia is taken out, and he gets one shot in on the Maryland. Now we got to win this dogfight because Maida is just doing all sorts of damage here. Um... See, our next roll is going to be, for the Americans, uh, we have this. And for the Japanese, uh, we have this. So Japanese will go first. So six is going to be a hit with Maida. So we'll leave that there. Three is a miss. So he misses twice. For the Americans, Kenneth Taylor, four is a miss. One is, four is, both misses. One is an evade. So he is going to dodge this shot. So we still end up 0-0. Zero, zero. So good flying by Taylor to miss Maida. Here comes our next one. There's the Americans roll. Here is the Japanese roll. Uh, Maida was there first. So he will go first, shoot first. He has a couple of threes. They're both misses and a hit. Um, I can do these all at once simply because uh, they're not close to the end. You would do it in turn order when you get close to the end. Uh, the Americans, three is going to be a miss. Four is going to be a miss with Kenneth Taylor. Six is a hit. So they each take a hit. So they're both at one. And, ooh, this is going to hurt. Oh, no, it's a couple of evades. Oh, he's got three evades. This actually works out great. I thought he was going to miss on all three. Uh, Japan misses. They do get one hit. But with the evades, nothing happens. Ken Taylor stays out of the way of Midas shots. And we get another evade for Taylor. We're going to have a miss, a couple of misses for Taylor. A hit and two misses by Meta. So a hit and evade, we're still deadlocked at one. It's a good dogfight. Uh, one uh, is going to be an evade by Taylor. He's going to have a miss. He's going to get a hit. And Meta is going to get an evade, an evade and a miss. So again, this will cancel out the hit. So we're still tied. Very good dogfight between these two pilots. We have a three, six, three. Three is a miss. Four is a miss. He's going to get a hit. Uh, miss, miss, and a hit. So they each get in one hit. So they're both at two. So we'll count the Japanese hits first. Uh, Japan has a two, two, three. All three are misses. And, oh, we have an evade and two misses. Oh, Taylor had his chance to take out Meta and he didn't do it. Next roll, there it is. It's going to be a six. It's going to be a hit by Meta. Uh, even though we have an evade, that hit is going to take Taylor out. And um, so it's going to be a third hit. And so Meta is going to take a run at Battleship Row for winning the fight. Doesn't have much left. A 2-3-1. He doesn't get anything. And he has one hit left, so he'll take a second run at Battleship Row. Had he not been hit at all, he'd have three more attempts at Battleship Row. And on his second attempt, it is a miss, miss, and a miss. So Meta does not do anything. Uh, next up would be Welch and Fuchida. And one thing I forgot to do too is if you reach intelligence level five and you reach radar level five, the anti-aircraft gun comes into play. So that's basically how the game works. Um, maybe I'll finish these off. We're over at nine minutes for the video. So we have Welch now. We'll go against Pachita. And we'll see how they'll do. Pachita was the leader of the Japanese uh, drone 
World War I. Walsh was known for scrambling, getting in a plane, not even get permission, getting it loading up, and he was the first pilot to take down a Japanese uh, flight. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll squeeze in one more. Um, yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun. I think I like it much better than the other uh, way of solving the game. So if the Japanese were to sink all of the battleships, there's three left, they have two fighters to go. Uh, they win. If you prevent that, then uh, you win. And again, they have to reach Pearl Harbor. So uh, you got to push them back. And the other, the other thing, as you mentioned too, is when you're pushing planes back, I know someone said planes don't go back in, in real life, which is true, but I look at more of a time element. It's 30 cards by the time the planes take off and reach Pearl Harbor. So it's not like the planes are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the mindset I have is 30 cards, they've taken off. The end of the 30 card, they reach Pearl Harbor. So within that flight, uh, maybe they get lost, maybe they they find bad weather or fog. You're reenacting the event uh, in different ways. Um, so it's not like the plane is actually going backwards. 30 cards represents the time it takes from their carrier, which was a few miles off of Pearl Harbor uh, towards Pearl Harbor. Uh, so the first one, uh, did I roll that or did I just? Okay, here comes the first roll. We have Walsh and Pachita. I'll just finish this off and let you guys go. Uh, red two is gonna be a two move. The Americans are gonna move one. Uh, five for the Americans, so they're gonna move two. Four for the Japanese, they're gonna move two. Uh, next one for the Japanese are just going to move one. The Americans are going to move two. Be nice if the Americans get there first. I will bring in the anti-aircraft gun this time too. I left it out the last couple times. Let's just say I did get radar five and intelligence five, just to show you how that works. Uh, six are both moving three. So um, Japanese would move first. So they're going to get there first. The Americans would get there second. Japanese always go first. Uh, since they did attack. So Japanese are there first. They're going to have a bit of an advantage if it's a close dogfight. Um, and let's just see how the dogfight goes. So again, I'm going to be rolling with the American anti-aircraft gun. So I roll. The anti-aircraft gun is a miss. Roll the three. For the Japanese, I roll the one, one, four. In the United States, a one, one, five. Um, maybe I will just slide them in here. I'll put Fashida here and I'll put Welch here just so you can see. So Fashida, he's got a miss, miss and a hit. So he gets one hit, uh, for George Welch, he gets an evade and two hits. So he's going to dodge that one and he's going to nail Fashida twice. So great roll there by the hero of the war, George Welch. And we're going to go to our next roll. Uh, and it is a hit by the anti-aircraft gun. So he will take out Fashida, even though Welch had a great roll. Welch was going to win this anyway, it looks like. Let's just play it out. Uh, so Jap um, the Japan player is going first because he reached there first. So uh, he would have had a hit. And... Then the Americans would reply with a hit, and that would give them three. So even if the anti-aircraft gun did not take out Fashida, uh, Walsh would eventually take out Fashida because she also had a miss. So the Japanese will not get a shot at uh, Battleship Row, and we're going to take out these two fighters. And our last two are Rasmussen and Harada. So there's three... Um, left and right now it looks like i'm gonna sit and pretty to win this one maybe i'll just play it out while i'm here uh so we have harada against rasmussen in our last uh match oh right off the bat the japanese get three one two three and the americans move one uh one for them and three for the americans so that works out awesome for 
them, one for the Japanese, two for the Americans. They're gonna get there first, it looks like. Uh, Japanese a one, Americans a three, which is a one, so they are there. So for the next roll, we're gonna use the anti-aircraft gun. And Japan will get their anti-aircraft gun is a miss. So now we go into our dogfight. And like I said, we're gonna use the anti-aircraft gun. Kind of handy to have. We have a two, that is a miss. Uh, for Japan, we have a one, one, and a four. So they have two evades and a hit. The American Rasmussen, two hits and a miss. So both of his hits are going to be evaded and Japan will get in a shot. So Rasmussen against Surratt in this dogfight. We have a one, five, that's a hit and an evade. The Americans are going to throw two hits and an evade. Oh, and the anti aircraft gun is going to take the plane out. So in this game, I may have to uh, change that so it's slight damage. Right now, slight damage is, um, yeah, I'll have to, pl I'll play a few more games, but I think I might change that to slight damage. You need three slight damage to take out the Americans, to take out the Japanese plane. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that is the expansion for uh, Defend Pearl Harbor. I know I'm having a lot of fun. This is almost like a game in itself. Um, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll just stop there, folks. Hope you enjoyed it.